Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to this vlog from Chiang Mai. I vlogged over two days over the weekend just because I thought it gave you a realistic representation of what my life looks like right now. So I hope you guys enjoy the video as usual. Definitely like it if you do, subscribe if you are new and we'll dive straight into the video. Good morning guys. Um, it's currently Saturday. It's 7am and uh, we have just like woken up. My hair is... Looking a bit like Medusa right now. But basically the plan this morning, we're going on our usual morning run. Um, but we were going to do ice baths this morning. Um, we filled up the bar. We listened to this like podcast the other day on our way to Pi. And it talked about like ice baths and their benefits and stuff. So we were like, oh my gosh, we have to try it. But yeah, this isn't part of our usual routine. This may be something we just tried today. But other than that, I'm going to show you guys what we get up to. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Like it if you do. It's not going to work. It's not going to work. Yes. <laughs> Why is it warm? Maybe we still get in it anyway. It's going to be cold. I'm going to test what the temperature of the ice bath is. You can tell it's warm because the ice has melted. Oh yeah, that's warm. What the hell? Look at my watch line. And my hand looks really weird. Whoa! But look at the color difference though. So we usually wake up anywhere between 5 a.m. and 8 a.m. so we can get out and run. But usually if we go earlier, it's so much better because it's cooler in it's the morning. It's currently 27 degrees. It's not going to be too pleasant. This is my um, hydration vest, as we know. I don't carry water in it unless we're doing a long run. It's literally because I can put my phone here and it's very comfy. It doesn't feel like I'm wearing anything. I do have my heart rate monitor. I'm not going to wear it today just because it's an easy run and I kind of know where my heart rate will be. Yeah, I'm also still kind of robbing a bit. This is kind of the update. I showed you this in the last vlog from Chiang Mai. It's definitely going down. I'm just not going to wear my heart rate monitor. I'll put it on for tomorrow's long, long run, which will probably be the longest run we do before the marathon. But yeah, we're going to get out now. I'm going to go to the toilet. Hopefully, you know, excrete something big and um then we'll go running so this was the second time we'd actually run this route but it turned out to be perfectly 10k well just over that about 10 and a half k we tried it out the evening before and obviously all my runs are on my strava but we just had to do this one big loop that took us around this lake and then it did mostly follow the highways but it definitely wasn't that busy in the mornings I don't normally sweat in the UK, but like, oh my God, it's everywhere. My hair is also a mess, but look at it everywhere. Dripping sweaty central this is today. It was a decent run. It was fine at the start and then like halfway through, like it just got really hard. And I think that coincided with like 8 a.m. when it got to like 29 degrees and every degree makes a big difference here. So yeah, I'm just gonna stretch now and get in the shower and then we're gonna make breakfast. So when we did start running in Thailand, we were bringing with us water with salt tablets or rehydration tablets, but because our bodies are getting used to the heat and the humidity, I don't think we lose as much salt in our sweat. So we just bring water with us if we do that. But obviously, as I said on this run, I didn't bring any water because it was only a 10K and I knew I could just drink a lot when I got back. And as you saw, I just stretched out, I had a shower, and I just tend to like wash or rinse my hair every single day because it gets so sweaty. I got dressed and then made breakfast. It's like ice cream. It's frozen banana. Yeah. It's How did it freeze? It's How did it freeze? freeze? What's wrong with this freezer? Fridge. Wherever we go, whichever country we're in, we'll oh. always find a way to make oats with banana. We kind of saved the banana. What is this stringy bit again? Ooh, I don't like the stringy bits on bananas. And then we also have peanut butter. Peanut, peanut butter. It's so runny because it's so hot here. Um, but we get this from our local supermarket, which is Tops. And we also have, you have some Oreos from 7-Eleven. We have some juice as well from 7-Eleven. Apple juice. Orange is my favorite, but apparently oh, they didn't have any. You want lychee? On top Ooh. of the peanut butter. Uh, to the side, to the side. Ooh, thank you. Oreo, peanut butter, banana, oats. Very nice. Juice is good after running. Oh my God, it tastes so good. Uh, um, do you want to tell them what happened on the run as well? I haven't told them yet. Oh my God. Oh. So the one part of the run that has drainage to the right yeah. of us whilst we're running, mm -hmm. 
you know, my iPod got a bit wet in my ear because of all the sweat. And long story short, came out of my ear. <laughs> I know. Bounced off the floor, landed inside the drainage. So we're gonna go back and try and get it, but you can't like stick your hand down there. The gaps are too small. Mm, lucky it's not too deep. Mm. We just need to get it before it rains because then it's gonna start to flush water, isn't yeah. it? Mm, is it good? Yeah, it's alright. Alright. It's like. Oh, that's so good. I love that. Now for my oats. Mm. Mm. By this point, we have tried most of the juices from 7-Eleven and as I said, it tastes so good after our run. I also look forward to this bowl of oats every time we get back. Sometimes we'll have it before a run if we're doing a longer run, but on this day, we had it when we got back as you guys saw. And then after that, I just got on with some work for that day. So we usually do a morning work session and I was just preparing for tutoring sessions that I had later that afternoon because I work with the time difference in the UK, obviously. And as it is exam season, I have quite a few students with exams coming up so i usually start tutoring at 3 p.m thailand time which is 9 a.m uk time and then after i'd prep for those sessions i just did some editing it's 11 30 and we're gonna go and try and find your airport we're gonna try and get like a litter picker thing to get it out um and we know where it is but our room has been cleaned so i'm just gonna give you a quick tour because i didn't do that previously in a video and it's currently quite clean i'll also insert on the screen how much we paid we upgraded because we booked like a deluxe room but it didn't have like a proper kitchen so we upgraded on arrival for like 250 baht per night and we thought it was definitely worth it because we can cook and it's bigger i shall show you you come in through this door we have a wonderful specimen here this is our kitchen so we have hobs, we have cupboards, um, they gave us pots and pans to use, which is really good. And then this is like our food. Uh, it's pretty big. And then you also have a microwave over here, as you can see. But they don't give you microwave safe bowls and plates, so that's kind of an issue. And then we have a fridge and a freezer. This is a table, but it's basically been occupied by all of our sweaty running stuff, which is quite useful. Um, random little thing there. Literally, the amount of sweaty stuff on this table is kind of crazy, but it works out very well. This is the main area, and we were in here for about four days with the fan on in this bit. We didn't realize that this actually has an air con, not just a fan. So yeah, this is the main area. So this is like the desk occupied with all of our electronics. We have a TV, um, little coffee table, sofa, um, and out here is the balcony. Oh, look at that view. We also have sweaty stuff out there. I have finally worked out how you close this door after about a million attempts. And then we move into the bedroom, the sleeping area, and the bathroom through here. So you kind of have like a sliding door. This is so clean. I've never seen it cleaner, to be honest with you, because previously our stuff was all over the floor. Um, and then our bed has just been remade, which is really nice. We have a nice window with a nice view again. We have this little cube. I assume you'd call this a dressing table with a mirror. This is me. We have a wardrobe. We moved all of our stuff into the wardrobe. This is a safe in there, but I couldn't work out how to use it. Finally, oh, we're running out of memory card space. One sec. Ah! This is then the bathroom. I will say the shower is great the pressure is very good very easy to change the temperature set the right temperature um i'm gonna stand back it's kind of a bit cluttered but you know it has a bath um toilet and then this is the very good shower that doesn't also leak as well which is uh, quite rare the last thing i said about this apartment was that it has um bed bugs do we still think it has bed bugs yeah. um Yes, because we actually saw one the other day. I spotted one on the floor and it was like crawling and I looked at pictures on Google. It's definitely a bed bug. Like that's the main downside. Other than that, it's pretty good. It's just the bug situation or the bed bugs is just not ideal at all. So the Grand Whippinen, which is where we're staying by the way, is good, but it has quite a big downside to it, I would say. You guys, look what we found. We found it! <laughs> Ready to go grab it? 
This shop is called Dragon, by the way. Um, I thought I'd be in there. Yeah, that's, I was literally going to say that. It's right opposite us, and we like look at it every time, but we never thought we'd be in here. And I also didn't think they'd have that. But this is good. We're going to complete our mission thanks to Dragon. So peak temperatures during the day in Chiang Mai were like in the mid 30 degrees Celsius, which is so hot. So we decided to get grab motorbikes down the road just to the point where the airport went down the drain. And we usually get grab taxis, not the motorbikes. But this road is so congested, especially during like the midday and in the evenings. So we decided to get the motorbikes because they could just avoid the traffic basically. And as I said, I was so happy we found that litter picker because it meant we could just find the airport and then use it to retrieve the lost item from the drain. That's yeah. fucking good. Honestly, it was so good. We were able to do that and it was so simple. We thought it was going to be a lot more complicated, but we then drove to Maya where we got a grab taxi, which is the shopping center where we go to Imjai, which is our favorite vegan place to eat lunch. It's just such good food and you should definitely go there whether you're vegan or not. He just has such a good selection of different dishes. You get rice and then he has things on the side you can choose, including sweet potato. It's kind of like Thai food, but not like solely Thai food. That's why we love it so much. And as I said, I would highly recommend going here. It's in the Maya shopping center and it's on the ground floor. It took us ages to find it. But we pretty much went every single day when we were in Chiang Mai. How many times have we been to Imje? Too many times now. <laughs> I think six in total. Six? I feel like we've been seven. Been the six. only time we haven't been was when we went to Thai the other day. We've been every day for lunch. It's the best lunch routine. I know. It's just so good. It's enough food as well. And it's I good know, price. it's so cheap and it's really good food. Like to the point where you can go to the supermarket and buy all the ingredients, you still won't make it cheap. No, it's actually quite expensive to buy stuff from the supermarket. Give them a sneak peek of them, MJ. Yeah, MJ from the back. We'll go zoom. They make a great team making all the food. Look at him go. Obviously, we're not perfect. We're far from perfect and there's too much plastic use here. But we do try and use our cutlery where we can. But anyway, we're now in... Uh, what's this place called? We're in no Rimpling. We go, we go to this place all the time as well. It's called Rimpling. It's a supermarket. Yeah, and um, which of these two is like arguably more important? As I said, I A had two tutoring sessions that afternoon starting at 3 p.m. And then after that, I had a snack of oats that Angelo made me because we usually get hungry around this time and we had a big long run coming up the next hip day. Hip stretch, hip stretch. Oh, oh yes. Oh. <laughs> I'm stretching. <laughs> Yeah, we're having a stretch session. So I definitely feel a big difference if I stretch before a long run or I just shake out my legs and I also use the massage gun that we brought with us. So that is all in the packing video, which is the last video I posted on my channel and I'll leave that link down below, showing you guys everything that I have brought with me on this four month trip around Southeast Asia. Evening, we went out to try at one of the vegan places in Chiang Mai. So this was a pizza place, but they had a pretty big menu with loads of stuff other than pizzas. And I was just very happy I got to make my own pizza from scratch so I could choose the base and the size, the thickness, and basically everything I wanted to put on top. Just like I did for Bangkok, I'll be making a short video showing you guys the best vegan places to get food in Chiang Mai. And I'll also be doing the same for Pai. Most of the time we cook food, but today we wanted to try the vegan pizza place called Rad Rabbit, which is where I just showed you guys. I think you enjoyed your pasta more than the pizza. Yeah, I really enjoyed the pasta. The pizza, I mean, they claim it's like uh, sourdough bread and all that stuff, which it is, but it's, they, don't, they don't have the traditional oven to get the bubbles. If you yeah, guys know yeah, yeah, yeah. The bubbly bread. I was very happy with the pineapple on mine. That's all I wanted. I made my own. Yeah, you did. Ah, it's quite expensive. Especially for Thailand. Yeah, 16 pounds. I mean... Like seven pounds a pizza, basically. Yeah, that's quite pricey. Um, you can pick two sizes, but the smalls are really small. <laughs> yeah, yeah.
Wow, look at that. Sweet potato, dark chocolate, banana, and matcha green tea. Wow. I reckon they have milk in it. Raisins, bananas. Take some of these little things. <laughs> Squish them. <laughs> Squish them, right? We got oats, we got peanut butter, bananas. We need milk. The hundred bars in this pack. So good. So, so good. Mm. I'm into you. I'm into you. We're having our uh, evening cereal bowls. Um, gold cornflakes and after, um, after two large pizzas. <laughs> yep. Oh. Runners. And of course, uh, two uh, packs of Oreos. Holly's got the juice. juice. Got an extra banana. Oh yeah, we bought these mini bananas. Um, we're gonna try. Our local 7-Eleven has a dog in it, and it's so cute. He just sleeps. Oh yeah, he just sleeps all day. So cute. But anyway, we have our long run tomorrow. Longest run. Final long run before Phuket Marathon. I seriously feel like I'm gonna lose a toenail. But. Toenails are underrated when you're running. Well, toenails good for running. <laughs> Honestly, people paint them. That's it. But yeah, uh, what's our overall rating for the pizza place, Rad? Based on our score, we have a new scoring system. Uh, six point six three. Six point six three. Ooh. Which is accurate. Yeah, I'd say that's pretty accurate. That's pretty accurate, didn't mm. you? It was uh, on the pricier side, but it's probably the only vegan place place you're gonna find in Chiang Mai, so. Yeah, and I respect it. I definitely try out, you know, support the business. We're all for that. But anyway, I shall sign out now and see you very bright and early tomorrow morning. <sighs> well, dark and early. Yeah. Good morning, you guys. Um, it is Sunday, obviously. We woke up, well, I woke up like half past four. Um, the alarm went off at four. We did ice baths. Um, or very cold baths. I wouldn't say it was icy, but it was still very, very difficult, like so hard. I um, basically screamed the whole time. I would have filmed it for you guys, but we were butt naked, so that wasn't gonna happen, but we did it. And we've just had oats. It's still dark outside, but well, it's currently dark outside because it's like just gone 5 a.m., 5.15, and we're aiming to run by 5.30, which is crazy when we think that it's like, not even midnight, it's still the evening in the UK. But you know, this is uh, this is what it looks like. There are supposed to be thunderstorms. I really hope there aren't thunderstorms because I actually hate thunder and lightning. Temperature wise though, it's only 24 degrees, which is so good. I think it goes 24 at five, 24 at six, then 26, 27, 28 or something. I'm not too sure, but if we beat the heat, it's gonna be so good. These bananas are so good. I need to get the name of them because some of the little ones don't taste as good, but these are so good. The texture is just, mm, I love it. I hope my airpods are charged, otherwise it's gonna be the most grueling three to three and a half hours of my life. We are a uh, 5K to go, oh my God. This 5K is gonna feel like 50K, um, oh. isn't it? Yeah. Um, we have like a few laps of the lake to do. We've done three big loops of the highway and then five more K. But as I said, it's going to be so hard because it's really like hot now and we've been doing like 5K on and 5K off. So, um, it feels more tiring than last week. You ready for last 5K? Of course. course? Ready for anything. Really? It's easy. <laughs> yeah, you just got to tell yourself it's easy. Even though it's going to be madness. Easy. Anyway, just got to keep positive and uh, we're going to hit 30k, our longest run hopefully, by the end of this. Oh my god, let's turn the light on here. Oh hello, we've showered post run these bananas. I'm obsessed with these bananas. I don't know what they're called, but they're so they got the name good. Here, buddy, look. Know what they're called? What are they called? They're called... Namwa. Namwa banana. Mmm. Body is uh, very achy. How do you feel? Yeah. Let's just start. Uh, <laughs> but we got through it, right? We, we did. did it. And it's only like 10 a.m. We've already had an ice bath. Breakfast, run 30k, and now we're having more food. More breakfast. More breakfast, because I'm sure. See, we've 
we went out to Imjai to get lunch. As I said, we pretty much went every single day when we were in Chiang Mai. It was just I'm our so routine. excited for this one. <laughs> And then later that afternoon, we'd planned to go and visit Pathy at the Antonir Poshtel. So this is the hostel where my brother and I stayed in Thailand in Chiang Mai last year. And I said that I'd go back and see him because we were obviously in the city. So we met his wife, his new child and his dogs. We also went out to this really kind of bougie place and got like iced drinks. So I got an iced matcha and it was just so nice to see Pathy again. So the old town of Chiang Mai is basically organized in a square and the Antonir Poshtel is on the south side of the square whereas we were staying on the north side so it was also really nice to be back at this night market that my brother and I went to pretty much every single day. Not our best concoction. I think it's my fault. No it's not your fault. Because I made the pasta and the pasta is arguably the most important. Well we have these like <laughs> we have these like rice puff things that we got from Tops and we had them the other day. And we're having them again to finish them off. Been a good afternoon though, we went and saw Pappy. Mm. You met Pappy for the first time. Pappy's very happy. Mm. That's where we stayed, Matthew and I, last year, the Antonir Postel. If you are looking for a hostel in Chiang Mai, obviously this isn't a hostel. Go and stay with Papi because he's so nice. Honestly, he will just make you feel at home in a new country. It's a really cool place to stay. They're extending so they're gonna have more rooms. Obviously, this is not an ad, this is just because he's a lovely he, person. Yeah, he's lovely. We met his wife, he has a baby now. So much has changed in he a year. He has a lovely wife and kids. <laughs> I know, but it was so good to see him. Papi, yeah. if you're watching this, I love you. Mm, yeah. He's so great. So that is everything for this vlog from Chiang Mai. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you do enjoy my travel content, I'll leave some of my recent videos linked down below. Definitely make sure you're also watching my YouTube shorts. And as always, I'll leave you with the bloopers and speak to you very soon in another video. Bye guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh bless you. We need to microwave bananas. What is this? Like a banana snake. Mmm, banana snakes. Ew, the stringy Ew. bits. Ew. Hello boys and Hello. girls. Hello. <laughs> very dark. Um. Right here. What is this lighting? Artificial lighting. Um. So. Oh my god. Another taxi. Oh my god. Ah. It's still dark. Oh, it's, it's, oh, it's you with the torch. No, it's good, it's good, it's good. How's that? It's good, it's good, it's good. No, it's good, don't worry. Thank you.